everyone. Welcome to my live stream where I will be doing a reading on Kate Middleton. All right. I've been keeping up with the Royals and there's been a lot going on. So I figured I haven't done a reading on Kate. So it's perfect time to go ahead and do a reading on her. I hope you all are having a good Saturday or a good day wherever you're, you're at and whenever you're watching this video. Um, make sure you subscribe. I am Lamar Townsend. I am a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And I would love to do a reading for you if you would like a reading from me. So definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, for a reading. And um, let me actually just go ahead and pull up my website really quickly. So you guys can, of course... Um, know what my website is, but also make sure you follow me on my social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Vimeo, Lamar Townsend Tarot is my handle on all of those platforms. So, but this is my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. So if you want a reading, definitely check out my website. This is my website. So once you've reached this page, you know, you're on the right page. You can definitely hit the schedule now button. And it'll take you right to my Schedulicity page where you can schedule your reading with me. Um, but you can also go right to the store section and directly purchase your reading from the store section on my website. All my services and products um, are directly on my store section. And I do natal chart birth chart readings. I also do psychic tarot readings and past life readings. I also teach tarot classes. I am a designer, so I sew and make scarves and face masks and things of that nature. I also do candles, all right, and I do make jewelry as well, um, and I sell black soap, which is good for eczema, dry skin, you can use it on your hair, it's all natural, it's made of all natural ingredients, um, the ingredients are on the website, on my website, um, and also um, it does kill germs, it kills COVID, so the wonderful thing about it is that it's all natural, it's the only thing I use on my skin. I have very sensitive skin, all right, to the point where I have to be careful of the jewelry I even put on my skin, all right? So, that's that. Let's talk about Kate Middleton, all right? So, I want to do a quick reading on Kate Middleton. The Royals have been in hot water, as, uh, as well as Meghan and Harry have been in hot water lately. Um, and I've been having a lot of predicted it's with the Royals, and I've just it's just been very interesting to keep up with, so... Um, I want to do a reading on Kate um, and just see what comes up about her. I don't want to kind of ask anything specific. Um, I do want to see what's coming up about her. Kate is the wife of Prince William, all right, who I think is soon to be the new heir to the throne, all right? That's the energy I'm getting. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the deck from your past reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, 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 amen. It's almost like Kate is, like, playing her role because she knows she's, like, she knows that, you know, he's soon to be heir to the throne. And, you know, that would bump her up in status, too. So, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the deck from your past reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Anyways, make sure you subscribe, like the video, like the video on Twitch. If you're new to my Twitch channel, definitely follow I do a lot of different psychic tarot readings and different topics and chatting and stuff on my channel. So let's get right into it and see what's going on. So what is in store? What's coming up for Kate Middleton? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a clarifying card. Let me see if I can push you back a little bit, actually, a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a clarifying card for Kate Middleton. Let's see. What's the first? I get the travel card. Interesting. I wonder if she's traveling currently or what's been going on. All right. It says your life purpose involves traveling. So obviously, you know, she is, you know, a royal... Uh, traveling is definitely a part of her life purpose, but there's something in traveling and traveling being a part of your life purpose where it creates this energy sometimes where it's like, do you ever have a real home or, or, or have a sense of a real home or what is home to you? What is real home and home values if you're constantly traveling or if part of your life purpose is traveling or, you know, um, even 
if you know your life it involves uh, structure to the point where you know things are laid out for you and you have no say so like there's something where it's almost like and I wonder if traveling is something she's always wanted you know like growing up you know if this is one of the things oh I, you know I've always wanted to just I've always wanted to travel you know I, I want to be able to travel and you know like I wonder if this is something she prayed for or wished for but it's like Almost like one of those things where it's like, be careful what you wish for because you never know what's going to come with that wish. So it's like, yes, you get to travel, but I feel like her life is very super structured. But it's almost like she's so blinded by the, the, um, and this is all legend for entertainment purposes only, by the way. <laughs> okay. But it's almost like she's blinded. So this is her crowning card. So we're going to put that to the side. But it's almost like she's blind. Sometimes the threads in this get stuck in my um, bracelet. But it's almost like she's she's like she's too attached to the lifestyle that comes with being a royal. I get the star. Ah, uh, no hables español. Lo siento. Un poquito. Um, but I get the star is the first card, ironically, I know that I have a Spanish deck. All right, I read it un poquito Spanish, a little. Can I do a question? If you would like a question, you, you can um, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. It should be, um, the link is right here. But you can also go to my Twitch profile. It'll be my Twitch profile. By the way, if you're new, um, follow me on Twitch. But I get the star for Kate Middleton. Um... Like I said, there's something about her where she likes the lifestyle that comes with being a royal. Like, there's something where she wouldn't give that up for anything. I feel like there's something about the lifestyle that she's wished for. She's wished to be famous. She's wished to be able to travel. Like, these are things she's she's wished for. So she's going to be on the side of keeping it. It kind of reminds me of that movie, um... It kind of reminds me of that movie. What is your website? LamarTownsandTarot.com um, I don't have my phone with me. Oh, Jesus. Now I have to type it in. Okay, hold on. It reminds me of that horror movie. Alright, let me type my thing in the chat. But it reminds me of that horror movie. I forgot what the horror movie is actually called. But it reminds me of the horror movie where the woman gets married. <clears throat> I think they're making Scream. The new Scream. But my website, I'm typing in my website now. But I, the woman gets married into this very rich family. Like, and, like, she thinks it's going to be amazing. And she thinks, like, you know, it's like she's excited, you know, to have this amazing lifestyle but what she doesn't realize is that like the night she gets married is also a ritual where they, they like play this game and like it's like this game of her like hiding from everyone and having to live and it's like if someone catches her like you know like they make it seem fun but really like the the ultimate purpose of the game is to kill her and like use her energy you know for like to fuel the family wealth or something like that and it's a horror movie i don't remember what the horror movie is called i just put in the thing but this reminds me kind of of kate where it's like somehow you win you have to win the game aka live in order to if someone i think it might be called ready or not but if someone knows the the name of the movie put it in the comment section below on youtube or twitch but it's like the, the, the ultimate like goal is to win is to live in the game. And if you live, you know, then you can get married. And yeah, you can get married to, to you know, whoever you're trying to get married to in the family and you get to live and you know, now you become a part of the family and you know, the next, you know, person to get married, that's the next victim. It's like it reminds me of that where it's like Kate lived and now she's been indoctrinated into the family and it's like once you get indoctrinated into the family, you have this kind of mindset. 
so I know it's really weird. I think the only reason why I've never even watched the movie, but the only reason why I know about this movie is because of Dead Meat on YouTube. Shout out to Dead Meat. If you don't want to watch the movie, look him up. He should have like a, a synopsis of the movie. I, the first card I get is the Eight of Wands in terms of Kate. This shows up in terms of how she sees herself, how others see herself. She's definitely not, you know, um, there's something about Kate where she struggled to be liked, well-liked in the public eye. Like, I don't know if it's always been back and forth with her where um, she's liked one moment and then, you know, she does something and then, you know, she's hated. Or if, she, you know, she's always had to feel like she's walk, had to walk on eggshells in order to not be hated. But there's something where Kate coming liked, come for, for Kate Middleton being liked doesn't come as easy as, you know, for example, Meghan Markle. You know, um, by the public, you know, by the American public, you know, by the maybe UK public. I'm not sure. Like, you know, I've heard different things pertaining to, you know, Kate Middleton and and Meghan Markle, you know, from the UK public. So I'm not going to speak for the UK public. I'll just speak for the American public, you know, because I'm American, right? Um, but there's something with Kate Middleton there where she always has a fear of if I'm not well-liked by the public, if I'm, if I'm not well-liked, you know, in general, that, you know, I, I'm going to ruin my chances of keeping my place here in the Royals. So there's something... Where that added pressure, coupled with the hierarchy and the internal kind of politics of being a royal, it's a lot of pressure, I feel like, for Kate, you know, um, to keep, just, just to maintain being who she is, I feel like, you know, um, she's always on pins and needles to make sure she doesn't say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, not only in the public eye, but behind the scenes amidst the royals, that's what I get. Because there's something with Kate where, like, you know, she plays a good game. She has an amazing poker face. Don't know her zodiac sign. Maybe she has Earth, Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. But she she kind of has this kind of thing where it's like, she's I'm a royal, but sometimes I feel like a phony. You know, like, on the inside at times. And I feel like maybe it has something to do with the queen. Some sort of mental gymnastics the queen or the, the royals put her through. A la Meghan Markle. And then I get the Queen of Cups and the placement of money finances. I don't know her zodiac sign once again. This would be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio female or Taurus female. Um, very much about the lifestyle she is, I feel like. Um, very much about the lifestyle, but I feel like there's something about Kate where she has a good poker face and she's very affected by what people actually think about her. She's... She's affected by what people think about her, and she puts a lot of weight into what people think about her and her wealth somehow. Like, there's a connection there in her mind. Like, as long as people like me, or uh, as long as I have favorable, you know, view in the public, and I do the right thing, you know, and I don't say the wrong thing, and I, I follow royal orders, and, you know, I maintain a good public image, like, I'll be able to maintain my wealth. Like, that's be how I get her. But I get the tower and the placement of um, communication, intellect, the mind, young childhood, young adult years. So there could be something about Kate where maybe some sort of mentality, the way she says something, the way she comes across, some sort of idea. Um, it's not taken well. Um, this could be something that's been ingrained with her, ingrained in her since... She was young, a child, something like that. Um, I get childish. But once again, there's something where it's like Kate, like she struggles with, like she teeter totters on being a royal. Like I'm, I'm a royal, but sometimes I feel like a phony, like I'm not. Like, and I don't know if it's because they treat her sometimes like she's not, or she's she's been treated like that, or if she just kind of has this thing within her where she's insecure. I feel like it's kind of both. <clears throat> This tower moment could show up in three days, three weeks, or three months from now, all right? Or it could show up um, around, let's see, this would be 
May or June of 2022 or the 2021. All right, 2022 at the latest. But it deals with communication. It could deal with children. It could deal with um, her expressing herself. Maybe not expressing herself in the best way. I get the death card in the placement of emotions, family, the home, emotional security for her. I do see, you know, not the best moment coming up for Kate Middleton in the next three days, three weeks, three months. All right. To me, this feels like it's coming up soon, all right? So, there could be something about, once again, some sort of an emotional outburst or something dealing with the family, home, home matters, children, um, whether it's her own or someone else's that she comments on, maybe. It's like, it's, it's, it doesn't show her in a good light, necessarily, I hear dethroned, so that I don't know. There could be a dethroning. But I do feel like in some way there could be some sort of like... A manifestation of her fear of losing losing the throne or losing her wealth to some degree. It's almost like that thing you fear something so much that it happens. I get the eight of wands. I think she like says something. She expresses something... And it doesn't come out the right way. Or something comes out in how she's been expressed. And it could deal with children, maybe. All right. Something do maybe done in the past or said in the past. All right. Um, maybe she's not been the nicest person. I've always said Kate has kind of interesting energy, not the nicest energy at times. Specifically towards Megan. And, you know, people who don't understand royal protocol... But I just keep getting that, like, Kate is very, like, very money-focused. Like, very worried about her money and her wealth. Like, even, like, maybe hiding money or, like, hiding, like, you know, just making sure that, you know, whatever happens, like, you know, I'm good. You know, I've got, you know, you know my savings. I've got, you know, this and that stashed away. I get the Prince of Swords here. This would be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely could be a young masculine or someone new, you know, energy. Uh, or it could be a Libra specifically. She's very worried about family too. Her family. Hello Hooded Life. If you're new to my Twitch channel, subscribe. Right now we're doing a reading on Kate Middleton. Thank you for being here. Um, she's very worried about family and the like the outlook of her family. What her family like looks like for her. Once again, will I be able to maintain? I also get something about pregnancy, though, for her. Could show up in eight weeks, eight months, maybe around October, November of 2021. But I get the Ten of Swords. It seems like she puts her foot in her mouth. This could deal with long-distance travel, foreign affairs, different culture or race matters. Um... And it's like something, a, a light is shined. Like the truth is, is shown. It's, the truth could be exposed. Some sort of truth could be exposed as well pertaining to Kate in nine weeks, nine months, nine days. Or specifically around the end of the year 2021, around December. November, December. All right. Kate Middleton, yes. The royal. <clears throat> I get the queen of swords and her placement of the past, karma, debt, weight, illness, professional destiny, status, and society. This would be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Capricorn female. If it's not her, I get the eight. Lots of eights in her, her readings of coins. And the last card I get for her is the seven of wands. I feel like there's something where some truth is going to come out about maybe past actions with Kate. Um, or past things said. Um, it could deal with children, you guys. I keep getting, like, children, childhood, um, growing up, something along those lines. And I feel like maybe Kate's just not been the nicest at times. 
And she's very much worried about like lo- losing her wealth, losing her status, losing her 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 riches in life and access to things of that nature. But I think in some way she could manifest that. Like, you know, her fears could manifest and she could end up losing something, some things. The tower's not good, ten of ten of swords is not good, the death card in not all cases, but in this case is not good. All right. So I see some sort of her family life is going to be affected in some way. Um, and it could be due to past actions. All right. I think whatever's going on, whatever this is, is going to show up in the next definitely year. It could show up in the next month or two, though. Like, it could be sooner than we think. But then it could be, like, a spread out kind of thing. Like, it's like a boom. And then maybe a couple couple months later, another boom. Like, something like that. All right, Kate, you know, what's done in the dark comes in the light, you know, and definitely, you you know, I just get, like, very chatty, maybe, like, very, like, the things you say come back to haunt you, too, you know, like, you know, so, I don't know, Kate, good luck. If you want a reading, definitely check out my website, uh, com. subscribe, follow me on my social media pages, and we wish the royals, you know, good luck. We wish them love and light, and we wish Kate love and light, okay? God bless. Until the next one, love and light.